week is uh man let's jump into some animal crossing pat let's talk terraforming um hmm. i think we all the first time we saw that we were able to terraform in this game we all lost our minds we all just were like what just happened like did they so really before knock we go in down? You should you should say like how how you unlock it. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. We'll still... get into that. We'll okay, get into okay. That. We're gonna get we're gonna kind of go into it all, but yeah. um, but like when that happens in the trailer or in, in the Nintendo Direct, everybody just loses their minds, mm-hmm. and it's like what just what just happened, dude? And then when you can actually see that you can build waterfalls and do all, and it was just like, oh, and now that I've actually unlocked it in game, um, so let here's here's the there's a, certain criteria you need to get three stars minimum what you have to Mm -hmm. do is you need to build your town up to the point where tom nook wants to bring kk slider in Mm -hmm. Um, which means you need to have nook's cranny you need to have ables you need to have the resident uh, services as town hall now uh you need to have because once you and, and he'll basically tell you like once you get the resident services up to where it is, he basically at that point starts talking about KK Slider. And you need to bring in so many people into your town. What you should be doing, if you're doing everything across the board as um, just basically as it comes to you, you will begin to unlock this stuff naturally. Like it didn't take mm-hmm. me much to get to, um, to, to three stars. Basically, all I did was I just invited more villagers in, and then they bumped me up to three stars. But I had already built wall. Just so you know, you need to put trees in. You need to have walls up. Like when I say walls, I mean like defenses. You need to have yep. fences. You need to have different things that you flowers. You and... need flowers, a bunch of trees. Like I put out my lighthouse. I put the lighthouse out. You need to have mm-hmm. objects like that out. You need to decorate a little bit. You need to drop some items on the ground to kind of decorate it up a little bit. You don't have to go super crazy. To get to five stars, you got to get super crazy. But just mm-hmm. to get where you are, it's not killer, killer be killed. It's it's pretty decent. Um, so then you unlock KK Slider. He agrees to come and do a concert. He does a quasi mini concert or whatever. And then once that's done, Tom Look comes to you. He thanks you for helping you get to the point where it is. Um, and then it's essentially it just turns into this whole thing where it's like, okay, now you're now we're gonna give you these tools. We're gonna give you the lay of the land. You can do whatever you want to do to the place. I trust you. Go for it. And man, the game totally goes to a place that I was thought I was ready for, and I am ready for, but I am not ready for. Like, oh mm-hmm. god. Um. Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you kick in. Like, what's 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 your thought pattern? Yeah, so this kind of reminded me. It's kind of a weird analogy, but Xenoblade Chronicles X, when you unlock the scale, and like everything opens up, and like this, what we're talking about, it's after like at least forty hours. Like you have to put in some time to get this, but it's kind of like because because when, when KK comes, plays the concert, credits roll. Mm-hmm. And you're not really beating the game, but you're essentially beating the storyline. I will say like, this. Every time in recent games, um, when you when KK plays music, the credits roll. Every yeah. time. So if you if you watch KK specifically request a song or whatever, every single time he plays a song, that's what happens. Credits roll. So yeah. go, ahead. go ahead. Yeah, so you're essentially beating the... Because I don't think, besides expanding your house, I don't think there's any Tom Nook quest left, really. It pretty much ends. And, and, and that's basically, yeah. like, the final push. And it's almost yeah. like a little story end cap as well. Yeah. You know, it's almost like... I like it. It, it, it. To me, not never really truly having a storyline, this is as close to an Animal Crossing storyline as you're going to get. Yeah. So... Um, but yeah, I mean, terraforming, you have to buy it as well, so make sure you have yeah. Nook Miles. It's in total 12,000 nook miles yeah. for the cliff and then the water. And then you have to buy paths, which are 2000 each. Yeah. First thing I did was I put down paths all throughout my town to make it look like a town. Mm. Um, and then I've actually like, I've had people visit my town and like, why is your town so big? 
basically what I did is the back right corner of my town was all like cliffs, waterfalls, and I terraformed a lot of it to be just usable flat land. Like I have a baseball field in my town yeah, now because yeah. I, I just made it all flat and usable. And I'm at a point now where in my town, I don't need a vaulting pole and I don't need uh, a ladder to get around and like wow. view everything. So that was my main goal because it, it's kind of annoying to take out the tools and I don't need to worry about making them really anymore except yeah. if I go on the island. So, yeah. but yeah, terraforming has been amazing. I've seen what people have done. Bobby's little Ooh. museum entrance. Dude, that's <laughs> not even, that ain't even the, the gist of it. Like I'm still... Like, I th- you didn't stay to the end of the stream yesterday, right? No, I was watching a little bit. Okay. I wanted you to open my letter. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, I, so, for me, I'll just, I'll just start with in my head. Okay. When I first started this game, I thought to myself, I want to create New Leaf to some degree. I want the museum, I want Nook's Cranny, I want the Able Sisters to be right up at the top. All mm-hmm. the way to the top. That's where I want them to be. And I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create kind of, almost like New Leaf, a city. So that mm-hmm. way there's a section where I go, and I can just do all my shopping, and then I come down to the main part, and that's where I just do the rest of my game. That was in my head from day one of this. <laughs> Yesterday, I started to implement, and the minute that I saw Nintendo's museum with just the staircases going up, dude, it started playing in my head different ways to do my museum. And yep. I yesterday, I sat there on stream with what started out to be like a quick, you know, I'm going to terraform for a little bit until KK gets here, and I literally, when KK... I didn't realize KK was there the whole day. It's a little different than most games, but you can't start doing requests until six o'clock at night. Um, but I literally just lost myself for four hours. And I went in so hard with this thing to the point where it's like, dude, I am, f- I want to live there, dude. I want to <laughs> live there. Like, I literally have, like, this museum with these waterfalls coming down the sides and down the front. And, like, you have a, a bridge that goes over. And the crazy thing was, was um, <clears throat> you can't put a bridge over cliffs. And all I was going to have was, it's crazy because it changed the whole dynamic. Mm-hmm. I was going to have <clears throat> a cliff, like a bridge, right, where I put the bridge. You saw where the bridge went. Mm-hmm. I was going to put the bridge, basically what I have is, for people that are, I'm trying to explain this to you and you can't really see it, but like, imagine you have the museum on the back wall, the top tier that you could build the museum. Then to the left of the museum and to the right of the museum are these giant waterfalls that come off and go down the sides, right? So it's, it's these giant waterfalls that go down, um, and it's just, par- they're, they're horizontal with the, with the, with the, uh, with the museum. Then in front of the museum, I have a bridge that goes right where the entrance is, right? So you come out like a couple of steps, and there's a bridge there. Well, originally my, my mindset was like, I'll do a ramp to go up. Well, because of the limitations where you can't put a bridge unless there's water. So I was just going to have uh, the bridge, and I was just going to have the river running underneath of it. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't realize I had to actually build a river up top. So I raised up the level, and then I built a little river, right? And then I did, okay, I'm going to do the waterfall going off the sides. And then I put the bridge over that little river. Yeah. Then once I did that, all of a sudden it started weighing out my head. I was like, okay, I'm going to do a ramp. I said, wait, I could do a ramp here and a ramp here. And basically the ramps go up, you go up, and then you move to the, like the the left and the right. Like So the, bridge, the ramps go up in the left and the right of just before the bridge. Mm-hmm. And then in the middle there, I raised the ground. I put a, a a fountain there, so now you have the bridge go. You have the ramps going up, and there's a fountain in between the two ramps. <laughs> now on the lower level, so basically when you when you play this game, you have to you have to travel up three flights of steps to get to the top of where the museum is. But Damn. I'm changing it now. The first set of the first flight of um, 
steps going up. I'm going to have the fountain on that one. The second flight, I want to build a dinosaur fossil. Ooh. And then you're going to go over the bridge and go into the museum. Dude. And then on the right-hand side, like when you're looking at the museum, you have the waterfall that goes across the right-hand side, and there's like a little ledge. And I put flowers all up across the top of there, right? Yeah. So but you can get to either side of the tops. So if you go right on the side of the museum and left on the side of the museum, you can walk around the sides of the museum, get to those back waterfalls, and go left and right. So on the right-hand side, I built, I took, because it's also really beautiful right now because of the cherry blossom trees. Mm-hmm. So I have like these, all these pink trees all over the place. And on the right-hand side, there's a cliff over there, and I put like two cherry blossom trees, and I put an outside um, fountain or like a uh, like a koi like a koi pond, and then mm-hmm. I put two benches next to it, and it like it's really nice, right? And then, but when you're down below, right? So when the waterfall comes down, there's this land under. I put these like boulders strategically placed with like more cherry blossom trees down there, and then today I went oh my and I put, god like, today I went and put like benches that are yep. kind of like so if you sit there and you look, you're looking at the waterfall with the flowers up on the top of them. But, like, there's, like, on the one side, I have a tree, and then I have a a street light, and then I have a bird bath, and I have this wooden bench there. Then on the Mm -hmm. left side, I kind of created the same thing, but there's two cherry cherry blossom trees, and there's a bench. And then on the ground, I put, like, little brick pattern underneath of the benches and all that stuff. Like, dude, unbelievable. It's like a whole different game. Totally different game, dude. Totally different game. Which actually brings me to the point, because when we first heard about it, there was some rumblings like, is this game breaking? Is this taking away from the spirit of Animal Crossing? To me, I feel like it's the next evolution of it. And mm-hmm. and it is post-game stuff, if you think about it. Pretty like, much. The, so it, it's kind of like extra you, to do. They don't give it to you out the gates. You have to earn it. You have yeah. to unlock it. It takes a little bit to unlock it. Like, dude, I'm... I, let's put it this way. It took me... I was 100 hours into the game yep. before I unlocked it. So yeah. there, it's it's into the game. It's not like day one. It's going to take you some time. You have to put some work into this game. But so it's not it's not game breaking and anything. It basically when you hit the hundred hour mark, it's time. You know, I mean, in my yeah. mind, it's like okay, now it's time to start doing this stuff and 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 enjoying it and having a good time. So, yeah. and if you're not time traveling, the pace of the game is like great. I think it's great. There's one day we were talking about this earlier when. Yeah you know, your, your town office closes Mm -hmm. and it's like, you're kind of limited, but even on those days you can like, you know, if if, I bought nook miles or like nook tickets the Mm -hmm. day before. So I could, you know, I, but if you don't don't know it's coming, you're kind of screwed. Yeah. They should should warn you. That would be the only thing that I would say is for them to turn around and go like, Hey, be prepared tomorrow. You're not gonna be able to use the resident advisor or the, or the, the, the machine, the nook stop. So you might want anything you gotta get, you might want to get it today, because tomorrow you can't. That would be really cool.